are about to witness an epic Tyro Magnus reaction. What's happening, Magnusites? So, you have been begging me and begging me to watch wrestling isn't wrestling. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to post the link in the description box, okay? So you can click the link, open the page, and you can watch it with me. Because it's kind of long, and I just, I'm not sure about making this a reaction video with the video in it, okay? And the, the guy here says he's not monetizing or anything, so maybe it's got um, footage that I'm not really allowed to show without getting copyright strikes or something like that. I don't, I don't know. So what I'm going to do is, like I said, click the link in the description, set it up for yourself. All right, pause it so you can watch with me, all right? And when I say one, two, three, we're going to watch this together, and then you will be able to see my reaction for the whole video, okay? This will probably be the only reaction video I upload today. That is so damn long. I've been working all day. So, um, let's get this in. Um, and I will probably stop at one point or pause it when it gets to the 20 minute mark because my camera cuts off at 20 minutes and then starts recording another segment for another full 20 minutes. All right. Are you ready? I said, shut up. I said, are you ready? Yeah. All right then. Woo! Let's get this on right now. One, two, three. You do know it's fake, right? Yeah, we of course we know, just like every other fucking TV show. More real show. than any other TV show. WWE Raw features live death-defying stunts performed in front of an audience of thousands every week. Absolutely People who feel true. the need to tell you that wrestling isn't real clearly don't watch wrestling because exactly. the show features an undead wizard, leprechauns, uh, an evil group of male cheerleaders. This show does not pretend to be an athletic competition. It is. Instead, it's a TV show about a wrestling show. It has more in common with Game of Thrones than it does with UFC. And if you follow one character all the way through, you can see that this format allows the telling of interesting, diverse, and compelling stories. And there is no better place to start than with probably my favorite wrestler, Triple H. Ah, the game. I am that damn good. The character Hunter Hearst Helmsley is introduced in the mid-90s. Basically this snobby Connecticut blue blood character. He's from a super rich family. Someone who his whole life has just been told uh -huh, used to come out like the best. And for reasons we don't really understand, he's decided to become a shit. professional wrestler. So like this fancy, pretentious guy rolls up his sleeves and he gets in there and... I was just about to talk about the Ultimate Warrior. while Hunter Hearst Helmsley is just getting his ass kicked week in, week out. At around the same time, a guy named Shawn Michaels is on the top of the mountain. He's a main eventer. He's challenging for the heavyweight title. He's kind of an effeminate male stripper, gyrating, pretty boy, weirdo. He and Triple H kind of become friends. Triple Who's H this is a boy lower girl? level guy. Shawn Michaels is a higher level guy. Shawn Michaels is like, my hair. Oh my God, Triple H, my hair. And then Triple H is like, my hair too. I'm pretty, I could be pretty. Now at this point, wrestling is basically like wrestling is always portrayed. So you have these like big cartoony muscle guys. And they go, I'm from America. And I do, I do. I'm American, and then a guy comes and he says, I'm the Russian guy. And wrestling is basically a Saturday morning cartoon. You see, Fucking this is where John Shawn Michaels Morrison. and Triple H come in. Shawn Michaels goes to Triple H and says, I have a plan to get us both noticed. Are you ready? And it's a crazy fucking plan. They get this big goon woman called China, and they pop out like, Oh, suck it! Suck my dick! Yeah, what up? Wrestling's all rated now. Titty dick suck a vagina! And these two guys are going crazy on live television. Ooh, look at my butt! My butt can talk! Ooh, I'm gonna take out my balls and see what happens. There hadn't been characters like this. So the show completely changed. 
Suddenly all the kids watching it were like, Suck it! They're talking about sucking That's dicks! It. Right on TV! Call me call I want to say suck it to all of my friends. Five dollars for the dick sucker t-shirt, please! <laughs> So these two idiot douchebags run afoul of Stone Cold Steve Austin. And Stone Cold beats the ever-living shit out of Shawn Michaels. Shawn Michaels disappears. And that's the bottom line. Oh, my neck hurt. And my back hurt. My back. And for the first time, Triple H is alone at the top of the card. This and is my time. I he reinvents I himself. He was holding me back. I can become world heavyweight champion. I get a jean wrong, jacket wrong, wrong, wrong and put a leather jacket on top of that. To... Right at the time that wrestling is filled with some of its most memorable characters. All right. Guys like The Rock, Stone Cold Steve yes. Austin, Mankind, yes. Chris Jericho, the biggest ass kickers of the generation. Triple H is buried under a pile of people who are better than him. He needs to figure out a way mm. to change the game. Because even though he's like a vicious he's psychopath, wearing that dumbass hat. I he's hated not that hat. quite as tough as the really tough guys. I think it's fair to describe him as a B plus player. So what does he do? He finds a bunch of losers. He like finds them on the <laughs> side of the road, and they're just <laughs> idiots. Oh, I'm really good. I'm Mr. Ass. <laughs> my thing is, I have a butt. Look, I'm the road dog. My thing is, I spell my name. And I'm Xbox. My thing is, I'm X Pac. Yep. <laughs> I really like Sean's real personality versus the like, great. You guys I think he could really great. get over fact, his regular Why don't you all be in D-Generation X with me? The guys are like, Titty, dick sucker, vagina, we love D-Generation X. Triple H is like, yeah, you're my bodyguards now. He builds an army. He's turned what was a freaking movement in wrestling into a group of stormtroopers who he pushes in front of him whenever a real fight comes around. But having an army isn't enough. To really secure a kingdom, you have to get the princess. So he gets Stephanie McMahon, the daughter of the owner of the company, kidnaps her, drugs her, and marries her while she's passed out. Uh -huh. How do you marry someone without their consent? Shouldn't he go to jail for kidnapping a woman and drugging her? These are questions that you don't have to ask, because wrestling isn't real. That's true. Triple H repeatedly wins the title off guys who could kick his ass. The thing is, whenever people are about to beat him for the title, you've got this group of, like, puppies from Power Rangers and DX shirts I jumping on the side of the Triple ring. H. And if that doesn't work, so he'll you in the eye much back kick then. you in the balls or bully the He referee. wanted to be and the working heel, like Ric Flair. In the face with a sledgehammer. He... Oh, he did such a good job. I hated him. So much. The longer he's still irrelevant, though, I really started to respect his game as that character. And that's why he's one of my favorites of all time. Triple H is like, I'm the best at wrestling. The audience is like, Get the tomato! is so paranoid about his own guys that he takes them out one by one and allies with Stephanie McMahon. Triple H is like, but I kidnapped you. You love me now? She's like, yeah, yeah. I'm actually, I've been super evil the whole time, basically. He's like, no way, that's awesome. DX is dead, but Triple H is now a corporate champion at the top of the company. What's important to remember here is that the way this guy originally got power was by saying fuck you to authority but he's so then he became that title. the authority he's got it he won't let go in triple h's mind this object is everything that he isn't he wants that power he wants people to cheer him he wants them to know he is the best you know it took me isn't. months to realize that he really made a gimmick out of spitting that damn Triple water. Triple H is now being pursued by 
dozens of guys. He Everyone's made spitting make water cool. Taking out the champion. So Triple H does what he does best. Builds an insulin. I almost shell took it as his way of spitting fire. Like a dragon. I really do. That's what it kind of looks Rick like to me. His skin is basically leather. He's a disgusting ah. old goober who yells. He's awesome. Just trust me, he's awesome. Sometimes when you describe something, it doesn't sound awesome, but then when you get on Space up, Mountain Rick Flair. and ride. Woo! scouts out this total lunatic, snake-like psycho named Randy Orton. I love that kind of snake. I like to hurt old people. Harry Potter. Triple H is like, this seems Randy like a guy I could trust. Orton. The final brick in the wall is Batista, a ripped ass kicker who's more brawn than brains, and Triple H can order to destroy almost anyone on the roster. Oh, and for nearly three years, Triple H holds on to that title like Gollum with a fucking ring. He can't let it go. Because if you are about to pin Triple H, surprise, there's Ric Flair. Oh, turn around, it's Randy Orton. Yeah. And then if okay, you get them, Batista will throw you off the surface of the Earth and into space. Okay. And you'll hit the moon, you'll go through the moon, you'll go to space and die. That's real. That happened. <laughs> From the beginning of this group called Evolution, there are little cracks. Evolution. Randy Orton is a crazy person. Batista has a serious rage problem. And Ric Flair is old as fuck. And things get real hard when Shawn Michaels comes back. Hey, Triple H! I love when Triple H had that match with Ric Flair. I remember he told Flair, No, Rick, you don't get it. You laid down. And I pinned you. One, two, three. Then everybody amped Flair up. Flair was whooping his ass to most of the match. This little Canadian guy. This guy is not a main eventer like Triple H and Shawn Michaels, but he wins a shot at the championship. With the Gremlins too, is it? I can't believe this. Ignore him. When the time comes for a big match, Shawn Michaels, it's gonna be you and me. This is destiny. Shawn Michaels is like, I mean, he did win the title shot. Triple H is like, but he's a little guy and we're big and strong. At WrestleMania, Triple H's obsession with trying to beat Shawn Michaels costs him the title to Chris Benoit. And Triple H, try as he might, can't get the title back. But you know who beats Chris Benoit? Randy Orton. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, Randy's so cool that you won the title, and I mentored you, and I helped you, and now you're going to be champion. I'm going to fucking kill you! I'm the best! <laughs> Give me that title! Triple H wins the title back from Randy Orton. Yeah. And it's at about this time that Batista wins a shot for the title. Triple H is like, hey, Batista, hey, Batista. Hey, I was on hey, that fucking Batista like bandwagon hard. When I first praise, saw Batista, praise, praise, when he came out with Batista's Reverend like, Divine, you know, I watched this show. I knew it seems like he was going to be a top guy. You are nervous about someone taking the title, and you turn on people, you turn on your best friend, you beat up, yeah, me beat up Randy Orton. I feel like you're probably going to turn on me soon. Triple I remember when Batista, remember when Batista could just come out like this? He come out. Let's kill him. Oh, shit. Batista one-ups Triple H, takes that title, and rises to the top of the card. Old man Ric Flair. I remember that. A conversation with Triple H, where Triple H is basically like, Batista's not better than me because he beat me. Randy Orton's not better than me because he beat the guy I couldn't beat. And Shawn Michaels isn't better than me because, because, I think I did that Batista thing backwards, though, but it was something like that. Triple H is like, audience, tell me I'm good. What do I need to do to make you love me? The audience says, well, you don't like John Cena. John Cena 
is a newer character at this time. He's basically Superman, and people hate him for all the reasons people hate Superman. He's John Cena sucks. He wins all the time. John he's Cena sucks. He's good two shoes. The character never the changes. Up. He always does the up. same thing. The he runs off the defense. He smiles and laughs about sucks. it. He takes Suck. all Suck. the stakes out Kiss of everything because he Fuck never fucking you. loses. Kiss my ass. That's right. Triple H says, well, I do have a sledgehammer. Triple H comes out like, hey, John Cena, you suck. <laughs> I'm the best, right? Audience, tell me I'm better than Shawn Michaels. They're like, well, beat John Cena, we'll think about it. <laughs> Triple H goes after Cena and he loses. <laughs> then Triple H and Shawn Michaels end up going after Cena at the same time, and they both lose. He can't beat Superman. But them hanging out a little bit makes Triple H like, hey, Shawn Michaels, we're both like older and like way more mature. And By the way, like, if you want to see my yeah. version of John Triple Cena's like, entrance, I will post like, the link below. Maybe we could be best friends again and like do do it where where we do the, the DX again. Shawn Michaels is like, I'm 45 years old. Triple H is like, yeah, but we're best friends. So out they come, but wrestling is rated PG now, which means they jump out like. Drove me nuts. Fart, fart. When Jim when when Sean will come out like. Generation X, DX is riding, shaking the fucking sticks. Where I'm people like, are cheering for him, and that's when Shawn Michaels gets bored. You see, Shawn Michaels is reaching near the. Like Shawn Michaels yeah. took on the Undertaker, yeah. coming out shaking glow sticks. And that's what the fuck the is wrong with the you? Undertaker at WrestleMania. The I see your face. I was there Who for is that. The Undertaker. Well, hold on to your sus sus suspension of disbelief because it's about to take a fucking beating. He's here. The Undertaker is a wizard, a satanic magician, and no, I don't know why he's a wrestler. He's a zombie. He was part of this cult when he was a little kid. They sacrificed his three little girls. Now he's got this creepy guy, Paul, with him. He has this intense relationship with his demon brother, Kane. It's all pretty fucking insane. And after yeah. that, he commands a cult of hundreds of hooded figures. You know it's fake, right? <laughs> <laughs> what matters is that Undertaker has never been defeated at WrestleMania. Shawn Michaels is like, I think I could beat him. He couldn't. Try Shawn twice. Is like, damn it, I feel like I could Two really of the beat greatest him. Greatest. One more chance, you know? WrestleMania matches ever. Undertaker says, hey. Undertaker says, I will give you another match at next year's WrestleMania, but only if when you lose, you retire from wrestling forever. Shawn Michaels is like, uh, I don't know if I should do that. What do you think, Triple H? Triple H is like, no, it would be so terrible if you left and never came back. That would be the worst. Oh, my God. You should do it. You should do it. Why don't you do it? Don't be a pussy. You should do it. Do it. Do it, Shawn Michaels. Shawn Michaels is like, okay, sure. So Shawn Michaels loses to The Undertaker, is permanently retired. because the camera's gonna cut off at 20 minutes. Oh, uh, poor Shawn Michaels. It's my time. And my tape fell off. What? Don't get it wrong, I don't make you so. It's my time. Drinking champagne, baby. Shawn. Oh, boo Shawn. <laughs> You're gonna feel real stupid when I beat The Undertaker at WrestleMania. I'm wasted, you bad. An important thing to remember about Triple H is that he views himself when he looks in the mirror as this warrior knight, Conan destroyer, super badass, unstoppable guy. Exactly. The fact that he's actually an insecure, cheating, undercutting, manipulative coward, he's kind of blind to. <laughs> he can't see it. And that's why when the Undertaker beats him, all Triple H can think about is, but I still got some good hits in though, right? And everyone's like, Sort of. Hey, stop acting like you beat me. Yeah, but I kinda did, sort of. No, you didn't. 
Yeah, but I hit you a bunch of times. That's not how wrestling works. You can't win. Just you, you lost. Admit that you lost. No. Fight me again, then. No. He says no. Let's go to Shawn Michaels. <laughs> Bitch, I will fight you anywhere. I will fight you on the moon. Yeah, that's what he, he said. said. He said Sean was better than him. Yep. Yeah. We're almost there. I'm at the pause in a second. Be, um, my best friend, Sean Michaels. No, we'll keep it going. Well, yeah, chill it on the best on the best friend. You chill it on the best friend. Triple H is like you're my best friend. And with Sean Michaels as the guest referee, access to any weapon he wants in a match that he chose. All right, hold on. And we're back. Let's do this. Triple H loses to The Undertaker. Yes, he does. This I was the there for that. Era. Triple H is so beaten up at the end of his match that he, Shawn Michaels, and The Undertaker walk out together in what should be a beautiful moment. That was, it was end cool. End of three careers. Instead... Triple H uses the fact that he's married to the daughter of the owner of the company to secure a corporate position. That's right. The rebel, the barbarian ass kicker, the guy who could never be tamed. I am the ultimate destroyer, the one true diamond in this industry. I'm also a suit. Uh, I, I'm here to tell you uh, that uh, my wife says that uh, you're all in big trouble. But this is almost the perfect position for him. No longer an active wrestler, Triple H is closer to the title than he'd be holding it. See, he gets to choose who fights for it. And Triple H is so insecure and so obsessed with this title that he is constantly interfering with real wrestling. That's what I was going to say. That's Sam Punk. Go. He never proved that he was good enough. So I'll tell you one last story. And it's about a guy named Daniel Bryan. <laughs> Daniel Bryan was this little scrappy, weird, vegan, sort of like almost hipster no. He yells the word yes. People fucking love him. They no. love him so much. And you know what? I don't blame him. There's feel. something great about Daniel Bryan. He's not the best actor, but sometimes in wrestling that doesn't matter. When you have right. enough heart and a weird enough face, you can reach the top of this industry. The fact that Daniel Bryan is competing against guys like Randy Orton, Triple H's former protege, and Batista, another Triple H creation, pisses Triple H off. Because when Triple H sees Daniel Bryan, he sees a guy who isn't good enough. When Triple H sees Daniel Bryan, he sees Triple H. I knew he was going to say that. You are not a commercial A B plus ugly little player. Player. I hate you and you never get a title match. Triple H ends up repeatedly interfering in this guy's career, trying to shut him down. This is bullshit! Over and over and over. Bullshit. Get the bricks! The fans go crazy. He says, okay, you know what? At WrestleMania right now, the main event is Batista versus Randy Orton. But if you can beat me, the game, the king of kings, the ass kicker, at WrestleMania, Daniel Bryan, you can be in the main event. You'll have to beat the three toughest guys in the company in one night. So fuck you. And, you, and Daniel Bryan does it. He beats Triple H real easy. Then beats Orton and Batista, and an audience of 20,000 people yells, yes, 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 as Triple H responds by crying on the floor. The story goes on. That's the thing about wrestling. It doesn't end. Never stops. But that's the thing about life, too. And yeah, I left stuff out. It's but the you know, real never-ending story. Humans crave melodrama. They crave fiction. When you're sitting alone and texting, it's because you're bored. Our imagination is our greatest gift and our greatest curse because we're bored all the time. And that's what fiction does for us. It gives us a sort of simulator for bigger stories and bigger emotions. That's what Lord of the Rings is. That, that's what Phantom of the Opera is. That's what Goodfellas is. That's everything. It's us watching and feeling the human capacity for empathy through imagination. That's why we have stories. Triple H is a great character in fiction. Told over two decades, 
a snob who had a chip on his shoulder that he could never let go and just wanted to be the best, but never can be that without cheating. Finally selling out to the point that if he can't be the champion, he'll choose the champion. what you need, man. That's what we all want. For Long John Silver to Percy Just realize he's wearing a motorhead uh, to Walter White. Shirt. We love watching people grow, change, struggle. Good people, bad people, we don't care. We want to see it, man. We need entertainment and we need it now. And when you watch wrestling, that's what you get. Now don't get me wrong, a lot of wrestling sucks. But when it's good, it's fucking great. Wrestling is melodrama. Wrestling is mythology. Wrestling is action. Wrestling is comic books. The only thing wrestling isn't is wrestling. Yeah. Kind of, kind of right. Good job. You did a better job. Yeah. What? You know wrestling's fake. It's predetermined. Yes. Max Landis, Goldberg here. You can use that for your video, and I won't come kill you. <laughs> he did a better job of telling my story than I could have. Now. Magnesites. <laughs> this is a record for me. This is the longest reaction video that I've ever done. And you all sat through it. You watched it. You enjoyed it with me. If you like this, maybe, maybe I will do longer reaction videos like this. Maybe. Not sure if I'm into reacting for this long. But I guess it's the closest thing you guys get to watching a full length movie with me. Huh? Until I reach 1 million subscribers. And then I rent out the nearest Lowe's Theater where all the millions and millions of the Mags fans will line up, fill the theater, and then you will be able to go millions on one with the great one and watch the Black Viking react live. If you smell now what the Mag is cooking. You may now subscribe.